Good morning, everybody. It's 10 o'clock once again, and we're back with GSC at Home, your daily slice of science coming right into your house, live here from Glasgow Science Centre. And today, we're going to talk a little bit about forces and things that are spinning. Because when things are spinning, they're actually very, very stable. One thing that you might be able to think of is someone spinning a basketball on their finger. We're not spinning the basketball on their finger. That basketball wants to stay upright on their finger and it wants to stay right there because the forces of it spinning are so strong that that's what it wants to keep on doing. When something spins, it wants to keep on spinning and it doesn't want to stop. Another thing that you can look at as well is a spinning top. A spinning top, those little toys, once you start it spinning, it spins and it wobbles a little bit. Well, what's happening there is that the force of it spinning wants to keep it spinning, but forces externally acting on it, like gravity and friction start to slow it down and as it slows down that's when it starts to wobble until it eventually falls over. Now speaking of wobbling and falling over we can actually have a look at this principle with one of these, a bike wheel. Now I'm sure some of you are learning to ride a bike if you've not learned to ride a bike already and one of the first things that you're taught when you're riding a bike is to balance, isn't it? You're told to balance, keep balanced, stay balanced, and you won't fall over. What if I was to tell you that staying balanced is only part of it? And actually, there's a bit of science in there that's gonna help you out as well. Now, we're on our bike right now, and we are not moving. We just take our feet off the ground, what's gonna happen to you? You're gonna fall. You're gonna fall off your bike, and you're gonna fall to the ground. But, if you start pedaling, well, something different's gonna happen. As you start pedaling and build up some speed, you're gonna realize that you're not gonna fall down. You're not gonna fall to the ground. The spinning force of the wheels is actually keeping you upright. It's actually keeping you cycling and up nice and safe. Now, as you can see, the wheel is beginning to slow down and the wheel is beginning to sag. That is because gravity is acting on this wheel. It's trying to force the wheel down and friction as well in the bearings of the wheel. It's gonna slow that wheel down as well until eventually it does indeed fall over. But it's a pretty cool thing to think about. If you're cycling your bike, once you build up some speed, you don't have to worry too much about balancing because science is gonna keep you nice and safe. Now this principle works not just on planet Earth though, but it also works all the way out in space as well. Now scientists can use this principle of keeping spinning things moving to keep satellites up in space. And one way that we can look at this principle is with one of these, our spinning plate. Now the way to look at it right here is that our plate is gonna be our satellite. In my hand, it's gonna be planet Earth. These ropes here, well these ropes are gonna be the force of gravity pulling the satellite back down the Earth. So what scientists do is they send out the satellite into space. And as it gets sent out into space, it wants to fly off in that direction. It wants to fly out into space until another gravitational field pulls it back in. But the thing is, Earth's already got a pull on that satellite. And as it's got a pull on that satellite, it's trying to bring it back down to Earth. But scientists have put it out into space with enough force that it just stays in our orbit. And it manages to spin around and around planet Earth. Now this is not the most exciting experiment. We can make this a little bit better. And what we're gonna do, the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna add a little element of danger. We're gonna add a dangerous chemical to the mix because in this beaker we have something so catastrophic, so, so powerful. It can cause extreme hydration. It's called H2O. It's cold water. Don't you worry. It's nothing to worry about. What we're going to do is I'm going to start spinning this plate and we're going to see some fun forces in action that create a wonderful effect. And in fact, this is something that you can do at home as well. You could get a plate, get a beaker, you can take it out to the garden. Definitely do not do it indoors, but take it outside to the garden. You can have some fun with this one because we're gonna throw this water all over the place. That's definitely what's gonna happen. We're gonna let this go in three, two, one. Now, something a little bit different's happening. The water isn't flying all over the place. The water isn't falling out of place even when the beaker is upside down. And that is because all the forces in play are keeping it in place. Because, much like before, the play is wanting to fly off in that direction, but the rope is pulling it back in. And to that effect, the cup wants to fly, the beaker wants to fly out in that direction as well. 
But now the plate's holding it in place. The water wants to fly all over the place. But the beaker is now holding the water in place. So the water's being held in place by the beaker, being held in place by the plate, being pulled back in by the ropes. And this effect is something that we call centripetal force, as it keeps it all the way on the plate. So there we go, we've got some spinning forces going on here. Now the hardest part of this experiment is of course, trying to get it to stop. So let's try this out in three, two, one, and oh, there we go. I managed to make it stop nice and safely. I'm sure you can practice that one yourselves as well. So anyway, that was a quick demonstration on how things that spin want to stay nice and stable and stay in place. Thank you so much for joining us once again at GSC at Home. We hope you have a wonderful and safe day when you're at home. Have a fantastic time and thank you very much for tuning in. See you again tomorrow.